why is ISIS our problem? Okay. I mean, you know, and, and, and the flip side of that question is, is do you think that there's a role for China sure. in international governance sure. and taking on some of the roles that and you, Russia you, too. You, you, have, you have laid out for us China. so many roles for yeah. American diplomats and soldiers sure. in a Lindsey Graham sure. administration. Sure. Why is this all our problem? Well, at the end of the day, uh, Iran could be affected more by China and Russia than us, but I don't see them doing a whole lot. I don't see Russia helping the world move forward. They're affected by radical Islamic terrorism as much as we are. But do you think Russia's playing a constructive role in the world right now? Do you think China's uh, infringing on resource-rich waters claimed by others is a helpful thing? I don't see Iran and, um, excuse me, China and Russia helping. I wish they would. At the end of the day, wishing is not a foreign policy. At the end of the day, I think Russia and China change their behavior only when we change ours. I think the best thing we could do for the Ukraine is give them some weapons to defend their homeland against a Russian-backed invasion. If they die, they die fighting. Wouldn't weapons to the Ukraine provoke <laughs> Putin to totally annihilate the Who would the want Ukrainian to provoke army? Putin? At the end of the day, we signed an agreement with the Ukrainians in the 90s. If you give up your nuclear arsenal, we will guarantee your sovereignty. Putin stepped all over that. How many countries did Hitler have to go in before somebody said, hey, maybe we got the wrong construct here? Here's what I'm saying about Putin. He has stepped all over the agreement that he signed and we signed, and he's put the world in a state of disorder. I would ship as much natural gas as I could get my hands on to Eastern European countries to help them break the monopoly Putin has over them. I don't want a war with Russia, but I'd help the Ukrainians fight their own war. I would be rebuild NATO. I would say to the five countries who are spending 2% of GDP, Thanks a bunch. To the rest of you, up your game because we're going to up ours. I would reinforce NATO so that every time Putin looked around, he'd see a NATO flag. If we don't do these things, it gets worse. As to China, I want to trade with you, but if you keep taking property that doesn't belong to you by force, uh, the threat of force of arms, we're going to have a different trading relation. If you keep hacking into our systems and cyber attacking our nation, we're going to treat you not, not as a friend, but as an adversary. You choose what kind of relationship you want. If you want to be a, a friend, the doormat's open. If you want to fight, then we're going to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to be walked all over. You ask me what kind of role America plays? We're the only force to stop some of this stuff before it gets out of hand. You ask me how much would it cost and what would I do? Whatever it takes to stop radical Islam from getting a weapon of mass destruction. How many of you think the only reason 3,000 of us died on 9-11 and not 3 million is because they couldn't get the weapon to kill 3 million of us? If they could, would they use it? If you give it to the Iranians, it's going to work their way into the hands of people who actually use it. I believe that. And I'm telling people things that are uncomfortable, but if I didn't believe it, I shouldn't be running because I really think, Jeffrey, that world is sinking into a level of chaos that I haven't seen in my lifetime, and it's never going to turn around until America changes her foreign policy. And her foreign policy should be a clenched fist and an open hand. 